With mortgage rates now through the roof, climbing to more than 7%, the idea of owning a home flying out the window for some. This past year, seeing a 24% drop in pending home sales. The sluggish market prompting some sellers to hold on to their properties, opting to rent them out instead. A recent survey found 9% of home sellers in the U.S. switched from for sale to for rent with the highest in the Southwest at 17%. And late last year, pandemic boom towns like Sacramento, Austin, and Phoenix saw the biggest jump in homes taken off the market each week. The shift from seller to landlord, allowing some to capitalize on the hot rental market. It seemed like a no-brainer. While helping some of her neighbors sell their homes for top dollar, South Florida realtor Sophie Schneeberger says she resisted the temptation to make a quick buck from her own home. Instead of pocketing an estimated $286,000, she did the math and found it made more sense to keep her home long term as an investment property. Why did you decide not to sell and instead to rent the property out? I have this tenant that's paying off my mortgage while this home sits and appreciates over time. 23 years from now, when I'm 60 years old and thinking about downsizing, that home will be worth over $1.4 million. Charging a minimum rent of $3,800, Schneeberger calculated she could cover her monthly expenses like the mortgage and taxes and still take home $2,000 each month in profits. If I had to replace the roof on that home, I'd be able to do so without having to dip into my own pocket. But this formula may not work for everyone. When does it make more sense to sell? When the rental market does not make up for the cost that you're going to be paying out. And then you need a cushion because there are going to be repairs that come up. The average monthly rent in the U.S. now residing at nearly $2,000, up almost 7% since last year. But prices vary depending on where you live. Ken Johnson, a real estate economist and associate dean at Florida Atlantic University, says in some parts of the country, homeowners may have already missed their chance to maximize their return in the rental market. What is the state of the rental market nationally? We keep track of the top 100 uh, U.S. housing markets. And in 47 of those markets, rents actually went down. Some parts of the Northeast and Florida in, in particular, the rents still stay high. Johnson says the Sunshine State welcomed an influx of new residents during the pandemic, creating a shortage of housing inventory. With the growth in Florida, I think you'll see people holding on to many of these properties and renting as opposed to selling. But out west, in states like California, Johnson expects more homeowners to sell as prices begin to fall. Once you crunch the numbers, if renting out your property still seems right for you, real estate experts say make sure you have the time to take on the responsibilities of a landlord. If not, you'll need to hire a property manager. They usually charge 7 to 10 percent of your rent per month as a fee. And Schneeberger recommends using a website like rentspree.com or smartmove.com to vet your tenants. Tips offering a blueprint to those looking to build a brighter future while reserving a backup place to call home. This is something that provides you the security of knowing that, God forbid, something bad happens. You have that cushion, that income that's coming in. And on top of it, you still have that asset. 